some uh, El Diablo. Uh, Mr. YouTube SC. What's the little one being for Halloween? Kisses heart heart. We are going as a family of astronauts. Ah, fresh meat. Does YouTube also offer premium audio or should we stick to Twitch? Merlana cool. Uh, the, remember, there's everybody can hear everything on the stream. Just, uh, just a reminder. Thank you, Daddy Hobbs, Paladine with the T3. You're definitely getting banned on Twitch. They said it's allowed. I guess players say it's enabled. That's totally fine. It was their own words. It is allowed. No, there's no premium audio. It's the same exact thing since an entirety of yesterday. All right, auras still exist. Ooh, thorns could be fun. Maybe we should play Thorns. Let's look at the new skills. I don't know. I don't know uh, remodded stuff. Confrontation. Antagonize your enemy with visions of their defeat. Forces a monster to attack you while lowering the resistance and damage. Huh. Judge not. Summons an Hello, arbitrator that repeatedly Do strikes nearby foes. Voice all the time now? Oh, this is the Fist of Heaven's totems. I kind of want to try that. Declare your sacred land and punish those. Oh my god, it's the same voice. Thank you, Sonny. Yeah, that's cool. Punish those who dare step on it. Deals magic damage to enemies in a target area. While increasing your own combat speed. That seems dope. Concentration, fanaticism, holy shock, holy freeze, holy fire, conviction. Uh, shield glare. Cast a heavenly shine off your shield. Reduce monster defense and block chance. That's dope. Shield toss. I've heard this is pretty dope. Throw your shield at the enemy and it bounces between them. Oh my goodness. Vengeance, Fist of Heavens, Blessed Hammer, Sacrifice, oh. Holy Did Bolt. Did you level double swing to better optimize dual wielding streams? Charging your enemies, dealing fist damage and increasing that. Better optimize dual wielding. Yes, I did. I am double swinging my streams right now. Increase your attack rating and speed at the cost of damage. Ew, who wants to do that? Here, I'm going to reduce duration of curses, poisoning, and freezing for all allies. That's actually kind of nice. Increases hit recovery and defenses. Increases life regen and life steal to all allies. I wonder if there's some way you can build like a summoner paladin using multi skill, like, you know, some items, and then just like do all that stuff for him. Salvation. Okay, there's that. Pass saver. Converts your total resistances to elemental damage. Ooh. That's nice. That's kind of fun. Stack elemental, stack resistances, just like over cap it like crazy. Increases combat speed and damage output based on how many monsters you've slain. Wait, what? Every four enemies killed, duration 14 seconds. Oh, okay, that's cool. Reduces your flat damage to provide higher chance at massive damage. Oh, it's a crushing strike. Oh, it's deadly strike crushing blow. Yeah, so it's like a crit strike build. That's wild. Let's try Judge Not. Feed game video into two computers and stream to two platforms separately and simultaneously? Chat for each platform on each computer. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to sleep. Something like that. Thank you, Mono. Is Paladin the most developed character in Remodded? Uh, I believe it is. I believe Paladin and Amazon are the two most um, developed. All right, so here's our our holy. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> what? It's so good. <laughs> it's too good. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can't pick any ability at level one. There's there's only a certain number that you can pick. <laughs> Have a good one, Toadette. I didn't say balanced appropriately. <laughs> I just said the most developed. Very big difference. Is it auto casting? Yeah, I cast it and then it casts the skill. Holy cow. Alright, um. I and mean, we could continue that. I don't know if it's just too good. You know, maybe we should play something else. Sacrifice life for increased damage and attack rating. Damages multiple nearby enemies. Ooh, let's play an AoE sacrifice build. I feel like that other build is going to be too good. You know? It seems just too strong. Maybe it falls off. I've heard it does fall off later. But... That's, it's a paladin, of course it's too good. I mean, you're not wrong. Man, okay. Um, let's do zeal or sacrifice and holy fire. Let's try that out. Evil dwells within this cave. Because Sacrifice has an AoE on it. But of course, we lose a lot of life. I kind of like it. Llama Live on YouTube? What's this magic? This is the magic of the latest Twitch changes. Which, I'm not going to lie. I did not see this coming. I feel like a lot of times I have a sense of what's going to happen, you know, you're like, ah, yeah, they wouldn't do that, or this is what they're probably going to do. And a lot of the changes recently from Twitch have been kind of lame, because they're just like, we're making it worse for you. You'll now make less money. We now own your content. Whatever, right? But this right here... Check Discord. Where? This is wild. You know? The war of favorites starts today. I love you both equally. Right? Something like that. I need more health potions. Gotta try us out at some point. Already using Lamuggy. Lamuggy was solid. Who messaged me on Discord? Is it in the... Is it in the... Uh, maybe it's... Okay. Moderators. Uh, can you do the modding, Emroy? Do you have that, like... Abilities. Do I have to sub here for sound as well? Remember, you don't have to sub for sound anywhere. That's not a thing. You don't have to become a member for sound. Everybody is always uh, just welcome. Oh wait, hmm, I wonder if I can. Oh yes, let me let me check this out. And that. Uh, how's that gonna work? Just lost Nick Merce to kick as well. Wow, I didn't I didn't see that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it definitely... My assumption is Twitch was thinking, wow. Kick is buying all these people over. And so we're losing a lot of that view. If we allow them to multi-stream, they'll be on Kick and here. And that'll uh, work, you know, well for us. That's my guess. No, I think kick is what actually prompted it. Um. Oh yeah, okay, so now oh. I can dump this. Rigid Walker with five gifted subs. Pop this out here. And now I can see both YouTube and Twitch subscriptions. If there's uh, sponsors or tips or super chats, I think I should be able to see everything now on my side. YouTube settings. Okay, I need to, we, have, we do have to get some moderation over on YouTube side. Not that you guys are being bad. Oh my god, I have no clue. Where do I change this? Uh, live. Customize channel? No, I don't know. YouTube settings. Where is YouTube settings? Add managers. Is that where I want? No. Good lord, this is hard. YouTube, how do I moderate you guys? Let's try players eight. Let's see how it does there. This definitely is not as strong as the ridiculous thing, but this is better. Yeah, the simulcast is dope. You can click on my name. I think I have to have the YouTube chat open for that. YouTube is the Wild West. New pinned chats. Uh, okay. Emroy, talk, talk in the YouTube chat. Okay. All right, there you go, Epi. You can have it there. Um, okay, that's enough. We got we got something. Why can't I respect talents? You should be able to. If you are seeming like you can't, you may just need to. Uh, Adjust it ever so slightly. So you can do that in the launcher. You'll have to just click the respect button. How is remodded so far? Sorry, just got here. I hate remods. Fair. I think it's actually been really fun. What I enjoy about it is it's still you know your D two play through all the all the basic pieces there, but. I think it's really fun getting to try out all the new skills. Like, he's really changed a lot of that piece up. Dude, this sacrifice, I am losing so much life.
I wonder if that fire damage gets dealt to everything. Kick seems like the kind of place they'd offer you free drugs. Oh yeah. Basically everybody who got banned on Twitch went over there. Beer gut llama? Hey, no body shaming. It's called Dad Bod, and it is in right now. Gotta go back to the I win Fist of Heaven's Totems build. Yeah, like it's really cool that like that build exists, even though it's way too good. But it's still cool that like that's an idea, you know, that there's a totem build. Am I using the use direct TXC for faster load times? We're, uh... I mean, probably not on this part. I, I don't think I've unpacked the latest files, actually. I need to, I need to do that. It's working now? Good. Yeah, I mean, these load times... On my, on my computer... This computer, the load times are, uh... Pretty solid. I mean, it's, you know, it's a whole new thing. It's crazy that YouTube offered... <laughs> I'm not gonna read these things. I don't want to get banned for <laughs> making it seem like I'm promoting one over the other. There is no promotion of any platform here in any way. <laughs> switch to the old graphics for max immersion wait no that crashes my game some people said they can switch to the old version and remodded but i was unable to it caused issues for me i almost did it too cake is owned by steak yeah which is a casino yeah It's got that kind of vibe. And they're like kind of trying to do stuff, you know? Like, they were like, all right, we'll make the gambling stuff less uh, everything. But then at the same time, they just have the most like controversial people on it. <laughs> so it's really hard to take them seriously. Though now, I mean, I guess we could restream over to Kick as well, right? We could just stream to, to 10 platforms if we wanted. But that's when I'm not sure I feel the crazy need for. Okay, let's, uh, let's stealth it up. Oh, wait. Having people on your platform that you don't like makes them bad. See, it's not really it's like they have people on their platform that I don't like. It's like they have really, like, people that have just been banned for, like, you know, doing bannable things. Inappropriate things. Aw, oh, thank you. Appreciate that, Mikey. And, like, there's still plenty of questionable, bannable things happening on Twitch, you know? So it's like, I feel like to get banned from Twitch, like, perma-banned from Twitch, is pretty hard. Like, showing up to people's houses live on stream? Yeah, that sort of stuff. <laughs> that sort of stuff. Is it really a love stream if people don't show up, though? I mean, yeah, probably still can be. Or like having your buckler or dagger fall out of your inventory on stream. See, that's only like a temp ban, apparently.
I just feel like unless they you break the law and are convicted, let the viewers choose who they watch. I mean, look, viewers can choose who they watch totally, but there is definitely questionable, like Twitch was banning people, these people, because they were creating a platform that was far from the ideal of what they were aiming for, you know? It's like, hey, maybe Twitch isn't in the business of wanting to support people doing coke on stream. So if you do that, you get banned. But, on kick, yeah, maybe that's, you know, like, that's kind of where it is. I actually like the older for Chance Hirons. You didn't get as lucky as me, so it didn't seem too OP. I mean, I still think it was too good, even if you didn't get as lucky as me. Like, yes, obviously I got lucky, but it was, like, really nice. Like, I think it was probably a good idea to not keep that too much, because you just, you're just too strong, you know? It kind of ruined other means of getting high runes, which is such, such an important part of the game. At least in my opinion. Woo. Woo. Nice. Woo. M hum. Twenty four months. Thank Much you, F two B. Thank you, see you. Uh, sure, why not? And some added lightning damage. And let's put our gems over here. I guess we can put this over here as well. Cool. When and where can I play Llama RPG? Yes. Uh, Llama RPG is continued to be worked on. Warren can give a better update. Yeah, Twitch really only bans people for like breaking the law and upsetting advertisers so much because it's like you're being super racist and we don't want to associate our platform with that. Um, it is continued to be worked on and in a great spot, I would say. Branch. Com once, I mean, it's like we're getting combat loop fully secured. We're getting, uh, like, all of the, oh, that looked nice, um, just, like, YouTube pieces, not YouTube. Now YouTube's got me all confused. Y'all got, got my mind all twisted. Um, we're getting all of the, like, UI features and stuff combined and together, which is really helpful. Um, just a lot of that stuff, honestly, I would say is the main pieces. Take despair and lore. It's not out yet, but it will be on Steam. Am I retired? Oh, wait. I stream on YouTube, I stream on Twitch. I'm creating Llama RPG. So much. I tried playing this with that just judge skill, it uses too much mana. I would just dump a bunch of energy. That skill does everything. Yeah, I think 2024 is a great time for release of the game. Uh, in at least a, you know, a medium form. But right now, it is, like I say, it looks pretty solid. And it's just... Like, I mean, here, here's my, like, to-do list with Warren. The things that I can think of. <laughs> We're going to next RPG crowdfunding ripoff documentary soon. Well, that's why I'm waiting until the game actually has some legs. 
I'm not creating a Kickstarter for the game until there's a demo out. So that way it's not, uh, you know, kickstart everything and then and then don't do anything. Even the light cannot pierce this gloom. Switch to if you want to It reduces fire as a cap. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's really good then. You have a three-year-old that likes to help you play? That's cute. So, yeah. The pieces that I can really think of that need to happen. Number one, Warren needs to get the combat incremented. Because basically right now, a bunch of combat all happens at once. So it just needs to flow through and just be like, so-and-so cast this spell. And then, you know, show that character shaking. Eventually an animation. And then so-and-so cast this spell and that shakes. So-and-so does a melee attack. Player two defends. You know. That's fine. It can all happen at once on your side as long as it pushes in delays. Because I think that'll be the piece that takes it from unfun to fun in terms of going through the combat. You'll get to sit there and actually watch that. Ooh, what's a blessed mace? One to thorns, two to the holy fire. Nice. I think the hardest part is creating enough content to make it feel like an MMORPG since you're kind of going that route. Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly an MMORPG, but it does have a little bit of that aspect, so I agree. There's definitely some of that to, to think about. Number two is getting a vendor uh, that's just kind of set up. This is no not to like sell and buy gear or anything, but really just for like healing. And maybe we could have a rotation of some gear they have. Something basic. Um, but getting that healing. Number three is getting the UI art in. Skill tree. Uh, inventory, combat, those are the main three pieces I'd say we really want. And then probably, you know, like the vendor again. Are arrows the main currency? They were not. I think most people prefer instantaneous. I don't know. I, I could see people preferring non-instantaneous. And letting it cycle through. You know, it's kind of like... My thought is like this. If I'm playing Pokemans, right, would I prefer to see all of the action happen at once or for it to say me than you? Right? Llama uses tackle and then the damage goes, you know, you see the of the life going down. Where's the pediatrician in chat? Babies can develop neck rashes for various reasons. Kind of neck, right? Yeah. I mean, it's the back of her head. Eczema, heat rash, contact dermatitis from irritants, irritants irritation from drool. I wonder if my, like, my mom wears perfume. Maybe. Yeah, it seems like all of these are like, it's fine. Okay. We'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, keep an eye on it if it gets okay. wild. Good night, Daddy. Good night. Also, yeah, they can develop seborrheic dermatitis, which is what I have. Okay. Good night, Daddy. Love you. Good night. Love you, too. All right. 
Is there a way to have mana pot show up blue? Um, man, I don't know all the customization you can exactly have. Rub some dirt on it. Yeah, exactly. I am Dr. Doctor. Oh, well, Dr. Doctor, I've got some doctor's questions for you. You just find your first ever death fathom? Get out of here. That's wild. You like how health pot's red, man? It should be blue. Yeah, I could definitely, like, make a note over to him. The problem is magic items are blue, so it's like... Mm. But yeah, once we have those pieces together... Oh yeah, I, sorry, I was talking about combat. So let's say I'm playing Pokemans. And I press attack. I think it's better if it says Lama uses tackle, shows me attack, shows you lose life, and then you use, you know, water blast, and then it shows me get hit and me take life, or lose life. I think that is better than pushing a button and all of the action just has occurred and it just updates this is all the damage that was taken, you know? Like to me, whilst more efficient, I think people will actually enjoy, even if they want to speed it up, I think people will actually enjoy the uh, pieces. You apply me for consistently reading both chats? I'm trying. It's definitely going to be a little bit harder and I have to get used to like, this looks different, but Yes, I believe allowing for speeding up or skipping should be in there. So maybe there's a single button you press to skip, or it's just a setting. Where it is, you know, slow, medium, fast, or instantaneous. You know, I think that's easy enough. I think they did a great job making this game look great. Oh yeah, they did a fantastic job with this game. Nice to be worried, but it's almost really just a regular thing. Heat rash, coat of Capricorn, irritation, perfume, soaps, whatnot. Yeah. And that baby is my baby, which is a little unfortunate for her because I have all sorts of skin stuff. So, like, she's just hey, going to have Mr. issues. Hey yo. Pete Davidson started streaming Diablo 2 on YouTube today. Oh, okay. I think I'll have to switch over to watching a real celebrity. Wow. Like I have I have just like rashes all the time. My skin's always itchy in so many ways. Honestly, I should go see a dermatologist again. It's it's getting bad. Like eczema. I have seborrheic dermatitis. I have vitiligo. I can't use any, uh, like, regular Tide or anything like that. I can't use it. It, it like, irritates my skin. I have to use the uh, no dyes, no scents, no anything stuff. Try fasting? Okay, how is fasting gonna help my skin? A Veco cream? Yeah, I might go get some cream. Fasting's a solution to everything? What do you know, Warren? All you do is eat pizza rolls. We're told to take a bath twice a week. Like, don't only shower and bath twice a week? Or like just my work. Pretty sure Vitiligo doesn't show up on Llama. It's not uh, like visible where you're seeing.
Down to that right, Jack. A vino. Oh, okay, a vino. I watch every post you ever made for the last five years on YouTube. First time commenting, I don't have Twitch. I love your content. You're amazing gamers answer you're playing too. Wow, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Seth. Yeah, I'm, uh... This is, like, really great. Because for... I mean, how many years have I been posting on, on to, you know, L YouTube there? Like, a long, a long time. So... It's, it's really great to, uh, be able to... Hey, 30% magic find Nagel ring. Speed run. Less than three. Seth Gerber became a member. When's the next D2R speed run? Uh, I actually think I'm gonna get back into speed running. It does not huzzah. Oh my god. We'll go there. This is just normal. We're just, we just started this character up, so... It's gonna take a tiny bit to get back into it, but... I, uh... I really love... I really love speedrunning. I, I miss... I miss it some, you know. Seth Gerber! Thank you very much for becoming a new member and gifting 10 memberships! Wow! Wait, why is that not over on these, uh, gifted? Is that not? Oh, there it is. My goodness. Andreas Pedersen became a member. Is that just gonna go through all that? Okay, now it's, it's still Daniel figuring out how it all is working. Dang! Thank you so much, Seth. Mwah! Hello. Giant kisses to you. Donald Smith became a member. So it seems like it's it's still at the point where it reads all of them on Twitch <laughs> or on YouTube. I mean, Flow Zero Guy became a member. That's funny. How long until Mr. Lama gets banned? Jack Burton became a member. Did I kill Indario yet? Yes, I did. Alright, let's go on. Let's go to Act 2. Well, I want to get a speeder and I have 19k hours, but I always play for fun. Now I want to do speeder and where can I learn? So I actually have... It's an old series, but I have a playlist, How to Speedrun Diablo 2. And, uh... Ivo Biz became a member. Wait, that says Seth gifted 20 members now? I don't know, man. I thought it was 10. It was 10, right? Did it go 20? My my uh, stream elements is having trouble with it. Kevin, Ryan, thank you guys. Gets banned from both at once and ends up on kick. Oh god. <laughs> I appreciate it, Seth. These notification icons suck. Alright, let me have it, you know? Oh, so it's. Is it doubling on the gifted and then that? All right, it needs a little work. I'm gonna have to go finesse Ryan that, I think. That's funny. Did I watch this BlizzCon? Which one is that one? Where's the llamas navigations? We literally just set this up today, right now. 
So, what's my build? I'm currently running a uh, sacrifice. Are all the classes better or different in modded? Uh, different. Oh, the honest con AI thing. All right, should we watch it? Please welcome game director. This is an AI thing, right? Trusted me. You see, it was I who told Diablo and his brothers about the soul stones and how to corrupt them, etc. Uh. We could do Can Sam. All right, we'll watch that. Let's get Hasin. Let's give him a random weapon. Okay. Let's watch. This is only a couple minutes, so. And... Okay. Director of Diablo, Luis Barriga. <laughs> what is Blizzard this? is dead. <laughs> and soon I'm not going to be employed here. I want to thank all of you for coming and a big thank you to Honest Con. I know you all want to hear about the game, so let's get to it. Diablo 4 is darkness, world, and legacy. Let's start with darkness. With Diablo 4, we want to put monetization front and center. We want every battle pass to be filled with useless crap you think you will care about. And just as you think you're starting to enjoy your character, we'll drop a patch that shits on every build. This game is a live development masterclass. On launch, alpha <laughs> testers can join us on Battle.net, followed by the beta testers on Steam. But we appreciate your feedback during our apparent attempt to develop the game. Feedback will never have any direct impact on development. This is darkness. Then we have World, also super important for Diablo 4. Here we have taken zero risks, and it shows. Whether it's mindless world events, or just trying to organize your stash in another generic godforsaken outpost. The world is both boring and overly complicated at the same time. And we've realized the biggest problem with Diablo 4 is that it'll make you want to play Diablo 3. And finally, <laughs> Legacy. We took a shit on it. Remember, this ain't your mama's blizzard. Now hold on to your loot boxes. <laughs> Shut up, bro. We're going inside. <laughs> <laughs> Big Lil in the house, yeah. Oh! Lily in the house. Bang, bang, bang. Blessed mother. <laughs> hey, hey. See the queen of chaos, ruler of the night. Automatic in her hand. Ready for the fight. Do you see what they're willing to do for money? And this is completely out of the developer's control. Okay, so where does this leave us? And how can we sum this up as simply as possible? <laughs> they are relying on your nostalgia for a game company that no longer exists. And they're not going to stop. The only way for you, as the fans, to get out of this nightmare is to accept that Blizzard, as you know it, is dead. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, my friends, war is coming. And it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> war, yeah. You guys got to get one of these. For the war! Today, we mourn as one. Today, we are dishonored as one. Because today, you find out what your new expansion is. Beware what the future has in store for you all. That's super dark, bro. But hey, no worries. <laughs> You're owned by like Bill Gates now. That'll, that'll fix everything. Yeah, right? yeah. Right? Right? Oh, right, God. guys? <laughs> that was wild. 
and kind of impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of impressive. And a little too much truth in it. <laughs> Some of the pieces, a little too much. Dude was spitting some facts there. Where do you find this remodded version? Uh, exclamation mark remodded. Does YouTube have like commands I can create like that? Hmm. Probably, right? There's so much to learn about YouTube. YouTube does? I know so little about YouTube streaming. Number one, I watch YouTube on the daily. I'm always watching whatever things, I love it. It's fantastic for Vox. I still have never seen how to get to a live stream. I feel like an idiot, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know where it is. I don't know where the like live streams are on the YouTube. So whatever, <laughs> however they created it. Like I've had it pop up one time where it was recommended to me. But otherwise, I don't know where they put them and all that. Sorry, Lama, I'm not paying YouTube premium. That's, that's okay. If you're watching on Twitch, you can continue to watch on Twitch. Nothing is, nothing is changing about this stream. All that's happening is we are now streaming to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Interesting, Emily. Yeah, like, if I'm already subscribed to somebody, I believe there it's easier to find if they're live streaming. But do they just have, like, a easy discoverability piece if you're not subscribed? Like, how does someone who's not subscribed find this stream? Because I feel like when they search Diablo 2, they see videos, not streams, right? They don't? Okay. Exactly, Sir Kane. I have it too. <laughs> no more D4. I believe... It's... It's really tough. Twitch, as of yesterday, no longer requires exclusivity. I am now allowed to stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. People liking the video will bring new viewers to that. Interesting. Gotcha. So Diablo 4 is... It's a tough one for me. I think the game started out pretty okay. Kind of generic. Kind of bland. They're making improvements. They still need to fix core things. Like itemization. Because... Diablo is still a game about finding cool loot, and if the loot isn't cool to find, I don't, I don't really want to play it, right? So that's what's really keeping me away for the most part. However, I also feel like I don't fully love, like I'm not fully in love with the game as a whole. Just because of some of the things like were mentioned in that video. Your stash is very basic and whatever. The item art is very basic and whatever. 
a lot of the systems are still very generic to me. Is it hard to read both chats? Uh, I'm just gonna have to get used to it. That's all. So, you know, that for me. Now, I'm not saying anybody else can't love it and it can't be great for them or anything like that. I'm just saying, for me, I just felt like there was a little too much of, of that. Where I'm like, eh, eh, too much, it just, it just bores me a lot of what I see there, you know? It feels like they didn't take risk, which is something I've talked about before. And so it feels like any other modern ARPG to me. I, I don't I don't get a big crazy wow sense from it where I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing and I'm so interested with all the changes that they're doing and this system they're you you know. What's up with the mercenary? What do you mean what's up with them? Oh. Mercenaries have six skills now? So, Blood Shield. Use your blood to create a shield that greatly increases physical res resistance, damage, and lifesteal. So it seems like that's one of the skills he can use. Yeah, Mercenaries definitely got a little buff. And honestly, it's kind of nice, because, you know, Mercenaries really struggle in just D2R. So that's the thing. I don't even feel like Diablo 4 is crazy awful. Like, the battle pass is kind of annoying. But I don't feel like it's crazy awful with how the monetization is in your face or anything like that. I don't even think that stuff was the issue. I just feel like the game still feels a little generic to me. And I just, I, I want it to feel not as generic. That's, that's really my complaint. They're the same voice. I have a find YouTube live streams, but they need to update the UI. Yeah, the UI needs to be updated for sure. All right, let's try a different build. Sacrifices, you know, it's nice, but it's pretty uh, generic here. Holy fire sacrifice. It doesn't feel feel different enough. Hey, RJ. I think mercenaries would be fine if they couldn't die. I don't think that'd be OP. I mean, I don't hate the fact that they can die, but they they could use, you know, some way to not be just what they are. <laughs> they could just be better. Their AI isn't great, and they do just die too quickly. Overall. Um, ooh, let's try the vessels. Let's go for that. Let's, let's respec. I wanna, oh, that's got six strength on it. Um, all right, let's, let's see what we get from the, from a triple vessels here. Go there, you can go there, you can go. Magic is absorbed 10%, magic resist 20%. 40% magic find, 2 to holy shield, 20 faster block rate, 60% enhanced defense. Honestly, kind of a lame set so far. <laughs> Who cares about having all this magic absorb and magic resist early on? Or late even, really, that much. Now, 40% magic find is nice. I don't mind that part. Otherwise, that's a pretty mess set. Uh, I'd rather run, like, full Saigons. Okay. And 
let's see. What sounds fun? How many bits to have you try to find the YouTube live stream section? <laughs> How are you able to process information and read and respond to chat? I think so. I mean, I just, you just do it because you got to do it, you know? Maybe instead of dying, they get dazed? That's an interesting thought. I mean, I kind of just want to run full thorns and see uh, see if we can just thorns it up. That's always fun. Let's let's go full thorns with reduces a higher chance of massive damage. No, we're not hitting. Hmm. Charge. I'm losing health, yeah. And okay. I'll go there. X G. Give it a look. Nice. I like how you can use movement skills in town, yeah. Oh no, charge has a small cooldown on it. One second. It's annoying. Get chance for uh, Nova gear. <laughs> Pretty good. Am I gonna give Pee Wee 2 a try? Yeah, I'll definitely try it out. First time experiencing a live chat? Well, uh, welcome. Happy, happy to uh, provide it. Happy to have you here. The AFK build, exactly. All right, now we should do... Hmm. I Idle heroes right here. Oh, I didn't have thorns on, no wonder. Yeah, Holy Fire is really great, but like, I already play enough Holy Fire, you know? Kind of my thoughts. Consecration is busted. Where's that one at? Concentration. Consecrated ground? Is that what you mean? Or confrontation? And that seems interesting and decent. I don't want to get to shield toss. Good luck with the stream. I am going to bed. It's almost 3 a.m. for me. That's a bit late. It's a bit late. Thank you, Zeus. Try out shield throw. Alright. Let's... Try out consecrated ground. And... 
Plus one summon. Wait, I get summons with that? Is this an aura or no? No, so I'm probably using Consecrated Ground with Fanaticism? Seems fine. And Holy Pulp. We'll try that. This is a very lame set, but I kind of invested into it, so it is what it is. Alright, let's see how this thing goes. Oh my god, what? It creates a pulsing ground? Wow, I did not see that coming. Farva, thank you very much. The light can Why does it have no mana cost? Alright, well fanaticism makes no sense then, never mind. What aura do you use with consecrated ground? I guess conviction, because I'm guessing it's... Well, no, it's doing magic damage. Increases damage dealt to enemies in target area, increasing your own combat speed. Actually, maybe it is. You run Consecrated Ground. Oh, this does lower magic resistance, so. So you could run that and then you speed up an attack while you're within it. Interesting. All right, I'll run Fanaticism for now, and then we can run some Sacrifice. Oh yeah, and that has 12% damage per level from Consecrated Ground. Perfect. Okay, so this is... this like this like this all right let's give it a shot so I will I mean, it does so much damage, I don't even get the chance to, like, do stuff right now. Am I tired of regular D2? Uh, I'm not, like, crazy tired of it, but, you know, you, you go through phases of what you want to do as you play, right? The skill that converts your resistances into damage? Yeah, that one's wild. Uh, which, which one's that? Pass favor. I just need to level up. That one is super wild. Oh yeah, we're on level 3, that's right. But yeah, I'm just enjoying a new mod for the most part. Is the exclusivity of streaming for Twitch for your contract? So, all partners and affiliates were exclusively only allowed to stream to Twitch. Then they changed it. You're allowed to stream to other platforms, but not simultaneously. So I could do a YouTube stream, but then I wouldn't be able to do a Twitch stream at the time. And then yesterday, they changed it all and said, forget it. We're just removing it. You can stream 
to all the platforms you want at one time. And I think people were doing like streaming to TikTok live and things as well. Why stop at two, do seven? One, I have to set up for seven. Got to read on seven. But also like, where else am I gonna stream? Yeah, I don't want to read seven chests. At that point, uh, it's too many. Platform reminder that if you have a prime sub, you can use it here. That's correct. Stream to my only llamas. Okay. Real mature chat. Probably not, XL. Like, I don't want to download TikTok, but that's one that would probably be, you know, a place where you could. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to download TikTok. Man vs. Stream fits right in with TikTok. Oh, God. D2 talk would go crazy. I mean, I think it could go well, but... Do I want to do it? No, I don't think so. It feels like this build, you actually run Holy Bolt with like right now the build isn't isn't right how i have it could also just wait till 24 and get that but let's do consecrated ground and holy bolt and then now it actually kind of makes sense to have what i have here i don't know these new sets are a little too much like is and this and this doesn't doesn't quite focus enough for me. That's fine. Wait, where's Dragnan? Oh, there he is. Good day. Okay, see ya. Probably true lust. Oh my god, what? It's a multi shot? What? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think all I need to do is 15 second speed runs to interest TikTok viewers. I think that's that's all we have to do. More like holy teeth. Amen. It's wild. A lot, of, a lot of mana, though. You also need to do silly dances. That's true. Why is Holy Bolt not have a synergy with that? I do not understand. Got 
Den of Evil speedrun. I mean, even that's probably too long. So, my nieces and nephews, for the first time today, saw my YouTube. And they were like, we want to watch a video, we want to watch a video. I was like, all right. So I, I, I put on one of their videos and they watched for like a few seconds. They were like, I'm bored. You're not good at this. And then they were like, you should make Minecraft videos. I was like, yep. They were like, why are you not doing all the things? God. And then you go watch the stuff that they watch and it's like, oh my god, literally the worst content I've ever seen in my life. Just like, oh, oh, oh my god, oh, oh, this is, oh, don't no, come get me, oh no, what are you doing, oh, no. it just, blah, 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 blah. like, Jesus, it's miserable. Just miserable. Kids love it. I don't get it. What's wrong with kids these days? It's horrible. They're just yelling and screaming and... But the kids are all about it, baby. That is the content. They just want noise, chaos, constant jumps. Yeah, they were like, make Minecraft videos, make Minecraft videos. I was like, I don't even think you guys would like my Minecraft videos. Cause I'd be like, what's up YouTube, Mr. Minecraft SC here. And today we're going to look at blah, blah, blah. And they'd be like, this isn't fun. Do it the fun way. You know, how kids are. Um, we need to still figure out combat UI. What do you, what, what do we need to figure out about it? The combat log issue? So I figure out space. It'd be close calling you and make everything as small as possible. I mean, I really think the solution is we need to have one of our art people just adjust the font for smaller so then we can make it like size eight or something and it'll be thinner and it'll read well and I think that'll improve it a lot. Ooh, Amrune. I don't see a point in having a mirrored UI. The enemy side only shows their items and skills. Why does it need to be as big? There's going to be so much wasted space. It doesn't need to be mirrored. But we do still need to show the three icons. That's, that's what needs to be shown. In my opinion. Oh my god, that was... So you can hover over and see their three icons. Dude, that was like a two shot. Holy cow. I should honor tell you can see what they used the previous turn. Looking for bad. <laughs> You want to show the actions there as well as in the chat? I think that makes sense, right? Oops. I mean, maybe the chat is fine. You know. Hmm. Maybe because we have all the space issues. 
What do you think? All right, chat. Quick question. Quick question. I need your help. Who's going to provide it better, YouTube or Twitch? Um, let me... Okay. Current Lama RPG combat scene is as such. Now, we're going to have to shift this over a little bit. And then this will just be like wider. But currently the issue is the combat log is a little struggling because this just isn't enough space for the combat log. Plain and simple. Right? This just is not enough space for it. Pretend like, you know, this is all nice and whatever. So. Currently, with actions, you have... I'm going to make this white. That'll be easier. One, two, three actions. And then... You'll see, like, your opponent's three actions over here. And then this is your combat luck. Right? Combat luck. Right? But the combat log doesn't have enough space. So do we think it makes sense to just get rid of this over here? How important is it? Because currently you'll see your action. So like I make, you know, I do a melee attack with a sword. I do a shield block and I cast, you know, a, a lightning spell. And that's my current actions. But I wouldn't see my opponent's actions until the end of the turn, essentially, or as it goes through it, right? Like, okay, so then the combat log will say the first action occurs and this spell happens. Then this action occurs and he does raining light. Then this action occurs and I, you know, attack. Then this action occurs and he defends. Right. So it could show like each action as it occurs kind of over here and what they use for it. But all oh, that's still in the log. The other thought is just remove this and then just extend the combat log to be, you know, all of that. So it just is this whole spot or something. Right. So then this will just track all this stuff. You're going to want the combat log, I promise you. Like, just having boxes, I don't think will be enough. Needs to be taller, not wider. Well, it'll also be a bit taller. But it actually needs to be decently wide. Because there's a decent amount of actions that are occurring. So you've got like my action, you know. So like here I've got like action. It's 
Let's make this a bigger size, like 24 or something. That's too big. 16. So the action will go right here. So it might be like, you know, blizzard, defend, attack. And then over here, it'll, it'll show like how many icons of damage, you know, were done, right? This did 20 ice icons. This guy attacked for 20 fire icons, you know, whatever. And then you can definitely like, you know, increase this if you want to like make it scroll up so it'll be big to see everything. Maybe this is just the best way to do it. And then we just show opponent's actions like vertical over here. Maybe that's not bad. Because this actually I think is not a bad look. Maybe better if the enemy skills were hidden. Yeah, you don't know them until after the combat occurs. Is there a reason to display the opponent's actions again? I think it'll be interesting and good to show them just to show as it happens. And then additionally, like, let's say that you freeze one of their actions. Then it can show, like, you know, ice around this action. So this action is frozen. But that's not a bad idea. I actually, the more that I look at this, the more I really like this look. So we just do like this and then, you know, Some piece like this. And then just have their actions like over here. Because it'll also be cool to see the item art and stuff of what items they have. So I think it's good to show their actions. You know, you can see if it's frozen, you can see the item art. Why not make the entire bottom the combat log and put the skills underneath the health bars? So like right here, you want to have the actions that you're taking. And then this is, I mean, that's, we don't need that much space for it. That's like a, that's a lot of combat log. Having your actions go left, right, and theirs go up and down is confusing. I agree. Maybe it just gets condensed further. Like it's just really condensed, you know? It doesn't need to be perfectly symmetrical. Because again, if we go all the way back, right now it's perfectly symmetrical as such. So maybe it's just really their stuff is super condensed in. Action, action, action. And then combat log is just, you know, wider. I think that's not bad. Whatever. You guys get the picture. Yeah, I think that's good. Make the UI fully customizable. Something. I mean, there is the idea of putting the actions up in this space here, but I feel like that's intruding now too much on the scene, you know? All right, let's play Diablo 2.
Thank you for your help, chat. I think that at least got us through a little bit more to look at some pieces. Do I be able to see the skeletons in the comment log? I don't have to indicate in the comment log and actually it's frozen anyway. It is redundant, but that's okay. Because again, not everybody's going to want to look through the whole combat log and see all of that stuff and whatever. Yeah, that'll be a JRPG. The point is, being able to look over at, at the icons, you get number one, the ability to quickly see if one of their actions is like frozen or something of that nature. Number two, you get to see um, the item art, which I think is a really important part. Because that's where you would see, like, the monster has grandfather, you know? It's like, that's the first thing you'd see. If it just says, like, the monster attacks you with grandfather, I don't think that's as interesting. Separate combat logs are up with the clutter like having them on your side and their side. The combat log is all just one piece though. Will Lime RPG have a grandmother in it? I like it. Maybe. For sure, Doctor. There will I will have many reminders when my game is getting close. You're going to be able to see those icons in the combat log? Yeah, but they're going to be like tiny, tiny. I think getting to see the 32 by 32 actual art will be really fun. That's like a really cool thing. Rather than, what, an 8 by 8 in the combat log? You'll be able to see it when you hover over it to see its stats. It's just not as cool though. I mean, I think it works fine as, as that, yeah? Like, it's a little redundant, but... Oh, people will know. Even if they won't all know exactly that it's grandfather, they'll be able to know a lot of things. Hey, llama. Hey, How Poody is the dad cat. Like treating you? Oof, it's a thing, man. It is a thing. But it's great. I was actually thinking the other day. I've never had, you know, a child in my life before. And uh, it's pretty interesting that that you can, like, I get to have this kid and then, like, watch the kid grow up, like, every stage of the way. That's such a wild, a wild thing that I never, uh, you know, thought about before. I was always, like, you know, I was happy to be a dad and excited, but I never thought of it in such a cool way. And now I feel like, yeah, that's actually really cool. It's like New Game Plus. Welcome back, Dark Poet. Happy to have you. Do I like this more than PD2? I'd say PD2 is a little better and flesh more fleshed out. This still has a lot of bugs and issues and things like that. Um, but it's on D2R, which is really cool. So I like that part, you know. If PD2 was on D2R, but the problem is D2R you can't do as much with modding, just because they didn't enable as much. Sounds about right, Rock. Yeah, PD2R would be great, but it's not possible, and it, you can't make it online anyway, so... 
could get too clunky if actions are under the bars at the top. Yeah, that's my that's my biggest fear. If the actions are at the top, under the bars, it's just like you know, a little too much, too clunky there. I feel like actions belong at the bottom. This naturally makes sense to me more there. So again, we could either remove the icons completely and just have the combat log take that whole space, or... We can, uh... Bonesy... Bonesy's here, I think. You can't do inside and bows? Oh, that's sad. So, on the sides... Let me... I don't think we have it all pushed fully, but let me see how much is pushed and what I have at least. Really fast. Do, 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 do. Level up five. Slash spawn. Okay, so currently, you know, the UI looks like this. Let me move myself here. And you have resistances in this space. So this and this are gonna move to the edge. They're gonna shift over to the sides. What are we doing for UI for showing the items and skills the enemy has used? I mean, I think we just do three icons smushed together. That would take up like this much space. You could cut off all this extra space. It's only for the current turn though, I mean whole history. Uh. Yeah, so when you hover over, it'll show the icon of what was, you know. It'll show the full item there as well. So it's redundant. You can either look right here at the weapon on their side, or you can look at it in the combat log. Okay. So yeah, I think there's plenty of space. I think that's the way we go. Twenty twenty four plan release. Now again, I think the release isn't going to be this giant full game that's completely built out in every single aspect, a hundred percent. But I do believe that in the release. Uh, like D4 release, uh, ho hopefully more fun. My hope is to have less but more, you know? Like, I don't want to release features just in a very bland, generic state that are unfun, which is where I think a lot of the features of D4 kind of existed. It's like, oh, gems are just like very basic. Crafting is just like very basic, right? So I want to release the game with combat complete, with, you know, the vendor complete, with uh, inventory complete, a, a stash that has, you know, stash tabs and all the like stuff and like a search bar and all those. So I want, I want it to be released with those features. But then in the future we can do things like add in the llama trading card game. I don't think the, the card game needs to be there on release, you know? That's something that we can add in later. So that's kind of the difference, is I, I want the game to be released, but with less systems that are full, more fleshed out rather than more systems that are just there because, they, you know, we need to have systems. 
In the covet, the right side icons are going to show the most recent turret's icon actions. Correct. There's an order to show all the AI skills they've used for the combat. How do you want to display to the user all the items and skills that they've been used in that combat? You want the right side icons also be clickable and show some history? No. That'll only be in the combat log. So in the combat log, going all the way back, there will be a history. Because remember, it's turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four at the top across. You can go to any turn and you can hover over what they've seen. No, it's not a scroll up. It's a turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four. That boy! Thank you very much for the prime sub. Reminding everybody they might have a prime sub. What do you mean, what? Pretty sure I drew a picture of this. Alright. Show Warren one more. One more time for Mr. Warren here. Uh, can you send me the latest combat law? Okay, hold on. Actually, I have the... I have it. Long RPG. Combat scene. Combat. Where did I put that? Maybe it's still in the Lumber PG channel. Let me scroll up. Okay. This will be the combat log. Ignore these pieces. So let's pretend this is our combat log. You with me so far? As such, correct. So you can go to turn one, turn two, turn three. Oh, I get what you're saying. So this is a way to see any of the turns that occurred and what all happened. But this is how you see their items. So it'll have question marks for what you haven't discovered yet. But any item you've discovered, you'll be able to click their items and see what they have. Just like resistances have question How marks many soul as well. Shards are need to make the beacon of hope do something else. Uh, a hundred soul shards, and you can get a paladin or another character to to join you. Got it. Good. That's a pretty complex combat log. Yeah, that's why. Essentially, you just look down here. If you want to look through everything that happens, you can watch it all through here and see how it happens. But essentially, if you look at the bottom, this is how much life you gain or mana or stamina. This is how much damage you take. This is how much damage they take. This is how much life mana they gain. So you can just look at the, the totals at the bottom. <laughs> 
the, that llama is not what the llama will actually look like. It's a, it's a temp llama for testing purposes. You got it, Warren. So this may click about the popular many of item skills combined. Uh-huh. It'll just have items, skills. You can even make those two buttons on top of each other if you want. And then they can, you know, look at one or the other. Nice and easy. I gotta say, the, the rune bag in this is amazing. I love rune bag. So fun. I figure you'd want it to be clean and not some random button out in the middle of nowhere. Well, it doesn't have to be a random button out in the middle of nowhere. Maybe that's, you know, but it probably makes, like, we could put that where you have play and items or whatever for yourself. In the bottom, but then we're not freeing up as much space for combat log. So... You can't program vague designs. I mean, you can. The location is a final thing. You can just move it around. You can still program. I mean, the thing is, you already have it, like, pretty programmed. It just needs to be a question mark until it gets used. Birch Griffins is still GG. True that. Still amazing. Still 25 FCR. Helps for those breakpoints. First big mod we have for D2R? I would say yes. This is the first big mod for D2R that I've seen. We've seen some small like density mods and things like that. But this one has like, you know, some additional, a, a decent amount of additional content. It still has a lot of room for more, but it's got no okay camo. Can you let Al know how the new company is supposed to look? He's holding off unnecessary to figure out the space issue. Okay. Why are you even here then? Oh, not me. <laughs> it's like. To stream to YouTube as well, so you guys can have some stream to watch. It's honestly so cool. I love that I get to stream to both you guys. Three towels make Enigma? Okay. <laughs> Go Phillies. Dude, that Texan, Texas Rangers Astros game got me so depressed, man. Can you believe it? It's so depressing being a Rangers fan. That's all I can say. This blade shall pierce the heart of evil. Do you think we'll ever get to play Detour Online with mods? No. Well. Yes. Bama? Wait, I thought AM played Tennessee today. Oh, I mean, Altuve is amazing, but good lord. Who, who did a and play today, then? Really, Warren.
Dude, Bama is looking rough, man. Interesting, Warren. Ah, oh, they played USC. That's right. Wait, less people on season five ladder. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think a lot of people. It's 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 just there's some there's a lot of disappointment and things, you know, for understandable reasons. People are like, if you're gonna make D2R and teach me with all this, give me more, change some stuff. But you also just have, you know, like, y y y I expected it as well. It's like when it was just LOD, I didn't expect the updates and I was more excited to play the new season. But D2R, it's like, I don't know, I kind of was, they were teasing us. I was kind of expecting to get a couple new rune words and fun things like that, you know? Can't play remodded on console? I highly doubt that. Who plays consoles, right? Yeah, it's like they teased us. Dude, that consecrated ground is wildly strong. Yeah, I completely agree, Rock. I think they totally are, and I have no clue why. I mean, it's not done like crazy often, but I'm like, why don't outfielders try running up the walls anymore? It seems like such a solid idea. Playing Fire Pal and he's tearing through Nightmare. Nice. Yeah, in regular season, don't get hurt, you know? Okay. But hey, come on, what are we doing? Good evening. It's uh, game five. Throw your body into it. If you get hurt, whatever. It's like Cam Newton in that Super Bowl, not diving on the fumble. It's like, hey, come on, you know, you gotta... You know, in the big games, that's when you do it. Oh, crap, I... Forgot I had a TP here I needed to do. New Cold Trap Assassin is solid, yeah. Big Newtons, yum. Yum, yum, yum. I, I could I could go for a sneaky snack. You never see lights on Twitch is crazy me. I like watching content. Well, thank you, Zion. We're gonna have a lot of new faces. Because yeah, there's just only so many people that you know watch on Twitch. And that's it. So it's really cool. I'm really excited to uh begin today our YouTube live streaming journey to meet new faces say hello it's gonna be fun hello Arkin I just don't care to not care
Okay, yeah. Yeah, man, I get it. I don't want to brag, but he came to YouTube just for me. Uh, how'd you know, James Green? And it's live? It is live! I can see you all. We are uh, all in this together. Oh my god, but I didn't have the Karost! Dude, I... I botched this so hard. Mostly watched 2013 Twitch with StarCraft 2 stuff. Wow. Man, I haven't played StarCraft 2 really in a long time. And it, like, streamed StarCraft 2. I didn't even really stream that much StarCraft 2. I mean, I would do a little bit here and there. I do, you know, I had my team. I do some fun things like that. First started playing D2 and you couldn't buy, buy mana potions from the shop? Old school D2. Old, old school. The cop motor would pick different heroes is so fun. I've never played that. Do I prefer StarCraft or StarCraft 2? Probably StarCraft. So, I do feel like StarCraft 2 was not a bad... Uh, Necro. Not a bad creation. No disrespect. What is this new plus one to activate weight system? So the weight system is for charm so that you can't just have an inventory, entire inventory full of charms. Right, they both have their strong points. I thought they did a decent job with StarCraft 2. I still think there's some things about StarCraft 2 that are annoying. Um, you know, like, I think Protoss is a little poorly designed. The gateway units being so bad because Warp Gate was so good. And just kind of like that stuff. Um... Force field being so required in that early stage and all, all that stuff. I, I, I felt like design wise, Protoss suffered the most. Terran had some annoying stuff. Medivax, a little too strong and, and annoying. Marines, just kind of by themselves, a little too strong and annoying. Doesn't feel like, uh, you know, there's much need to really move out of them. Um, try and think really what else. Oh my god, binary. And just like, uh, Widow Mines, Banelings, there's a lot of just like, you know, big explosion. Even the Colossus and stuff. I found to be a little annoying because it was like, does everything have to be so much of this AOE stuff? It's very fitting with how uh, a lot of games are nowadays, right? Even like Diablo 3 and things like, you know, it's just like so much like everything. A lot of very snowball-y, a lot of AOE connects, all, all that stuff. Um, what I love, love, love about Brood War is what a lot of the older games, just in general, do better. Which is, you have smaller control groups, you have lots of armies fighting in different places, battles take longer, things don't just melt in an instant. Obviously you have things like a Reaver or whatever, you know, so there are instances for certain crazy things, but... It, it stuff has slowed down a little and even like watching you know oh some uh, you know so, like some marines move up to this base and start attacking it's not like oh one drop is missed and that base is fully gone 
Like, you can get stuff over there to, like, start defending it. And the whole point is there's more decision-making, you're more all over the map, things take a little longer, all of that. Whereas in StarCraft II, it's more moving as a death ball and just kind of, you know, massacring everything and the fight's just like, you know, and, it's, and it happens. So, I think that's why I really ultimately prefer Brood War. Is I just love the pacing of it. It is so beautiful. It's so hard. And there's so many things to do. And there's so many places to be. And you just you just can't. And even the best players in the world, the 300 APM, can't. They can't be all over every single place and you see it. That's kind of how a lot of them will take advantage, you know? So... Yeah, it's like AI and pathfinding and everything is so good in StarCraft 2 that it ends up hurting the game. Everything is too smooth. And you all you have everything at all one control group or two or three and then that's it. You move your entire army all at once and it moves as a big old ball. Warcraft 3 best RTS of, of all time. See, I, I prefer StarCraft personally, but I think Warcraft 3 also fits in that same vein. You're really microing the all the little things here and there. You're focused on, you know, it, it's not just everything blows up. There's a lot of nuance to all the stuff. Your game files came corrupted and you lost access to all of them. So, it's kind of still in beta, this mod, and yeah, there's still some stuff like that happening for sure. Um... It's, it, it definitely is tough. The biggest thing I would say is make sure you're doing the, uh, like, backups. So, in... Um, in here... Let me show you. In your quality of life options... You can set an auto backup of your characters. So this is a way you can have all that stuff saved. Oink 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 spoink oink groink oink bloink oink droink oink droink oink shoink oink joink oink bloink oink gloink oink cloink oink proink oink moink oink snoink oink groink oink stroink oink plink oink oink blizzoink oink croink oink froink oink 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 yo yo oink oink breeze oink oink spoink oink stoink oink blizzoink oink troik oink You've been watching Artosis' stream too often. YouTube stream? Yes. YouTube streams are now here. I should honestly just make a video with the full announcement of it. We can make that. How can I be good at life? That's a tough question. Not an impossible question, but a tough one. I mean, I think the first thing is figuring out how you define... ...being good at life. What does that mean to you? You know? And, is that even a good definition? I think you need to look deeper into that as well. Because it's very easy to think, oh, if I just have XYZ, then I'll be happy. Then I will, uh, you know, finally be successful. Then I'll get whatever, blah, 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 I've been lacking. And a lot of times it's just not the truth. That's, it, it's, it's not the case. 
That's not actually what you seek, it's just what you believe you should seek, or what others have told you you should seek, or what you think would help, and, and it doesn't always, so. That, I mean, that is somewhat true, Rock. Reaching goals is never as fulfilling as grinding towards goals. That is a very true statement. It's consecrated ground. Reaching goals is where it's all at. And that is why I never achieve my goals. Oh, hey, Wadden said it first. God, that's so good. Who happened do you recommend for a druid in hell mode after spirit sword? Uh, Hodo would probably be the next shift up there. Clean off that blood before you come into my shop. But no, eventually reaching your goals is good, otherwise it's just like really frustrating. But the grind is really the fun part, that's where you learn, that's where you get to go and enjoy just, uh, you know, experiencing so much new and trying new things and seeing your improvement. One touch, thank you. Eight months, that's almost three years. Not quite. Good try though. Okay, so. Did I say one sell 1k gold for one gold? No, that puts it into your stash automatically. Having a baby, not as fun as making a baby. Uh, I don't know, having a baby is pretty cool. It's also pretty rough. So, you know, little column A, little column B. Have a good one, the doctor. Appreciate ya. That also can apply to making the baby. Yeah, that's a good point. What's my favorite thing about fatherhood? So I said it a little bit before, but I'll say it again, because it really was a recent, very recent, like just a couple days ago I thought about it. Because there's all those people and they're like, the greatest day of my life was the day that my baby was born and I instantly knew that it was amazing and I was in love with her and everything about it was great and all that stuff. And, I, you know, I, I wouldn't say I didn't feel that way, but I didn't feel exactly that way. Like, I was, like, very excited. I thought it was very cool, like I couldn't wait, you know, for the stuff, but I didn't have this like, overwhelming sense of any, like, crazy, like, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened, blah, blah, blah. I just thought, you know, in a very general way, like, yeah, this is a really cool thing. I'm really excited about it. Um, but the other day I was thinking and I was like, man, it really is so cool. Because she's developing, like, really fast now. She's just, like, learning all sorts of stuff, doing all sorts of cool things, like, all this stuff. Yeah, all I could think back then was, like, how am I supposed to keep this thing alive? That was, that was pretty much my thoughts, was, like, oh, God, I'm responsible for the life of, of, a, of, of another thing. That's wild. But... You know, now now I just have the, the thought there of, wow, it's so cool that I get to watch this whole life grow from start to finish. Well, I guess not to finish. Hopefully not. But from start till my finish. And, like, be along for that whole journey. 
and watch her understand things and see things and do all of that and see the relationships and watch her go from someone who just literally lays on top of you and just like can't do anything except poop and nap to someone who can pick stuff up and talk and can grab a spoon and eat to someone who can eventually talk and walk and all that stuff. That's a really like, I thought that, you know, that to me spoke to me. And farm high runes. Yeah, like I can have her bot for me and you know. So that was a really cool uh, thing that I think, you know, I'm really gonna enjoy watching her get good at StarCraft and Diablo 2. Eventually have her take over the family business. One day she'll be streaming Diablo 2 on Twitch and YouTube to all of your guys kids. How cool is that? I think that's pretty neat. Oh, no, not, not more of a before anything, but... Or Llama RPG. She could be streaming that as well. Yeah, and then one day she'll be a teenager and she'll hate my guts. And all I'll do is ruin her life. It's like I can't wait for those days. That's amazing, you know. The the dream. Eldrin. Amazing. The first time she scams someone in D2R. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She'll probably date a Diablo 3 player just to spite me. Wow. I'll disown her. As is proper for the parent. It's a rite of passage ruining teenagers' life and not understanding them. Exactly. She'll be speaking in tongues, basically. I already am like, you know, when I have to, when I go and do whatever events or something, and there's like college kids or high school kids, I already am at the point where I don't understand what they're saying anymore. What? What does that mean? I don't know. I can't even say what they say. Because I don't even know. They just say a bunch of random made up words. And that apparently means stuff now. Children are like flowers. Hint, hint, what happened to the flower picture? I have two flower pictures. I'll have to take a picture of the flower pictures for you. They hang up right in front of my bed, so every morning I wake up and smell the flowers. It's lovely. Oh god, no free free no cap that fleek be rising ratio. Yeah, that's exactly the stuff they say. What? What is that? What? I don't know. You tell me, man. You tell me. I got nothing. 
Isn't height exactly like, huh? Yeah, I guess I'll put that over there. And that and hmm, where did I put that other mambas? Maybe over there. I'm sure some of you guys understand that. What happened to Debrunsky? I don't know. Is he still doing the things where he makes the things and does stuff? You know. The stuff. Um, I guess she... Four months since last video? No way. Yeah, maybe he's taking a break. He's tired of D2. I mean, I've seen it happen, you know, a thousand times. You don't like the fixed version of D4? The fixed version of D4 is an improved version of a game that still has plenty of genericness and uh, whatever, you know, boring systems in it. Is it fine? Sure. Is it fixed? And now a game that I want to go spend a lot of time playing? Tough one. This is PD2R. It's a mod of D2R. Yes. Modding D2 is, uh, I mean, it's always been a thing, but this is one that's kind of done a little bit more with it. Clean off that blood before you come into my shop. And then go there, and strength, and poison. Ten energy, thirty mana. Actually, I like that a lot. Let's let's do this. Can make an ancient pledge in that. Blizzard blocks the online modding, and they nerfed how much you can mod. They made it like lesser. Oh yeah, I've got some past favor, sacrifice, tiger strike, volcano, corpse flower, shout. Ascending leadership versus speed. Shield toss, there we go, we got plus one shield toss. Just past favor. Oh, it's this one. Nice. Yeah, I want to try that out eventually. Finally here live and watching play D2 for nine years. What is up? What's up with you late losing HP? Uh, my gloves make me lose HP. They have a small life drain on them. Seems about right, Jim. No. Weird seeing a YouTube stream. It's weird doing a YouTube stream. But, uh... It's... It's cool. It's brutal, but... Kinda right, it's big. There's spy guy. No charge. And we could get charge if I wanted. It's got a little cooldown on it. One second. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's fun. Hopefully uh, I don't get banned for doing both and having like both things up on it or whatever. Does YouTube get audio without subscribing? Well, remember, everybody gets audio. That's never been a, a thing. Also, subscribing on YouTube is different. That's Being a member is like a Twitch subscription. So. Yeah, subscribing is a, a free thing on YouTube. That's like following on Twitch. Oh boy. Get it, baguette. Your card contribute rolling L runes to a Zod. You know it's 14 trillion L runes to make a single Zod run, right? So you have to join to get sound? No, everybody. I had to pay to subscribe only on YouTube. In fact, it was actually only on Mr. Llama SC's YouTube I had to do this, now that I think about it. Okay, well that's not a true statement, so let's just remember that. Not, not true at all. There are a lot of YouTubers in chat here who can confirm. Kinda sounds like a true story. Wow. Why have you done YouTube Live just now? Because just now, it's allowed. Let Diablo's death end the wreck. Before now, not allowed. Now, allowed. Wow, how does this? Twitch is having TwitchCon. Oh, you know what? I actually just want Steel Clash. Oh, I'm one strength short. And at TwitchCon, they announced it. We can finally do it. Something that, honestly, people have been wanting for a very long time. Because it's like, yeah, why wouldn't we? Like, many of us have great platform, you know, great, like, uh, people on both platforms. So, yes, I would love to be able to stream for both of them. And it took them forever, but they finally said, okay, go ahead. Make my day. Those are their specific words. Oh wait, this is not... That'll work. Let's have dual angelics. I'd rather someone make my bed for me than make my day. Well, what if part of making your day was making your bed? See, now. Please tell me the destructive range on Barb is good. What's the destructive range? I thought Barb was, was fun. Helps everyone if they can share multiple platforms. Exactly! Yeah, essentially they said, it's either here or there. And for a long time that worked. And then eventually a lot of people started picking there. And they were like, wait, 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 no, no, no. Come back. You definitely have to wonder. 
I mean, one, I do think it it is, you know, better overall for multiple. But you definitely have to wonder if it, they, they're feeling some of that pressure just overall. Littering the town? It's just so some other hero can pick it up, you know? Oh, destructive range, 45 life. Oh, destructive is throw barb. Okay. Um... It was okay. I felt like it was good. Like, the ice bar was good early. I wanted to go back and retest it later once I got better gear. But yeah, it's, I, I still can't believe they got rid of that exclusivity. I, I still cannot believe it. How much is streaming to two uh, platforms? Hit your processor and graphics card? So far it's been fine. I don't think it actually hits it that much, to be honest. I, I don't think it's actually too rough. Am I having fun playing this mod? Yeah, I'm really just enjoying getting to like, like I said before, play through with different builds. I'm going to try new skills like this consecrated ground that I never got to try before. Because it's not a real skill. And that stuff to me is really the like, super fun part. Frozen Shredder Traps in. That's the new Frozen Traps, right? Yeah, I've got a 13th gen Intel. And, uh... And then a 3070. That seems to handle it all fine. Oh, is that right, Seth? Why don't you, you double check it and let me know. They nerfed some items in the update. What happened to Todd's 1080? I mean, I used that 1080 Ti for a while. Moo Girl has it now. So that's her, that's her GPU now. This actual immersed carpet bombing meteors is OP. Yeah, the carpet bombing is like... I actually thought the bows on playthrough was like the most fun playthrough ever. There's, there isn't like an open battle net or anything for uh, D2R. They removed TCP IP and all that, so. That ring combo that dropped your 10th item was nerfed bad. It probably needed to be. It was really good. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that, like, needs to be fixed and adjusted in this mod. But where it is, I think, is a nice spot. for you this season I'm still not quite there yet I considered playing a little bit but you know it's one of those things where when you go to play it you want to be excited to go to play it right and I just didn't feel that excitement for it still yet 
I felt like, you know, I've played 200 hours of Diablo 4, and I feel good with it. I feel content still. I don't feel like I, I care to go back right now for some small changes or even medium changes there. It's, it's still not enough for me. So I, when I go back, it's when I feel like, hey, I'm really excited to go back. You can play this mod and then go online with vanilla, yes. This is a, I'm using a separate launcher, it's a separate save file, it's a separate all that. It won't affect you in any way. <laughs> Dream out. So, you know, it's not like when Llama RPG says, hey, we've got some new content, there's a new boss, a new area, and all this. That makes me excited to go play Llama RPG. Poor mods, Jack. Alright, we got a new... Um, thing, one second, one second, uh, layout, is that it? Perfect. Now the chat looks a little nicer. Okay, we hit level 30, we can get Conviction, which does lower magic resist. Oh yeah, YouTube, talk so your chat can exist and we can verify. <laughs> My... Okay, there we go. There we go. Well, I consider playing other games like Season Skylines too. I mean, honestly, there's a lot of, like, other games that I think would be really fun to play. Like, that sounds like a fun one to play. But, the tough part is, my job is playing Diablo 2. You know. We can, we can pretend, you know, it's not. But that, that is my job. Is to play Diablo 2, essentially. And if I go play other games, less people show up. That's just, that's just it. Less people show up, I can't make as much, and, uh, you know, I can't really run my job like that, unfortunately. If I start showing up with a smaller paycheck, the girl's gonna be like, hey, get back to work, you know. With streams, I like to think of it like restaurants. Thank you, Nate. You kind of have your smaller menu. If you go to Domino's, well, that's a bad example because you don't really sit down. Let's say you go to um, Taco Bell. That's always the easy one. And you walk in and they're like, you're like, mm, I love tacos. I can't wait for tacos. And, the, and then the Taco Bell is like, today we're serving chicken wings. And you're like, well, I, 
I kind of want tacos. You know, it's like Twitch viewers or any viewers coming over, it's like when they come to my channel, they're like, I'm expecting Diablo 2. And if I'm serving something else, some of the people might stick around. But many will be like, well, I came here for Diablo 2. I don't come here for Saison Skylines. I don't come here for, you know, pizza or for chicken wings. Some people will be like, all right, I mean, I'll, I'll stick around. I'll, I'll have some chicken wings today. It seems fine. But it's just, it's just tough. It's just really tough. I'm sorry for making you hungry. <laughs> I know, I'm like, I'm really hungry now, too. I want some chicken wings and tacos. So, that is the, the, the tough part, I would really say, is it'd be lovely. I wish that I could stream anything and everybody would show up and still enjoy it and love it, but frankly, it's just not how it works. And there are streamers that eventually get there. And those are kind of like your, you know, they're like your grocery store or they're like your Applebee's or whatever thing. Or it's like you can go there and you can get a large variety of things. And people know that. They go to that restaurant knowing that they can get chicken wings or they can get a salad or they can get a pizza or they can get a burger or they can get sushi, you know. And it'll be different every day, kind of, and it's just a large, you know, a bigger menu. My menu is very small. My menu is, I make Diablo 2 content. This is called Desec or Consecrated Ground. Saying that Applebee's one of the worst insults I can imagine? Whoa! Mom Refugee gonna hit different? Truth. I hope people uh, are excited for Lama Refugee. I'm honestly really excited for it. I go to the restaurant for Llama though, not for D2. I appreciate that. And you know, there are some people who do. They're like, hey, I'm here to just watch you and whatever you play. And some streamers get really offended if you're not that. They're like, if you're not gonna show up when I'm playing anything, then why, Then don't show up at all. I think that is just a terrible attitude to have. My thought is, if you show up at any point, that's awesome. Thank you for showing up. I really appreciate it. That's pretty much it. Oh my God, it's so strong. You still having fun streaming D2 content? I am. I mean, the nice thing is I stream a game that I absolutely love. Which I think is one of the most important things when you get into streaming. Find a game that you love. YouTube gang showing up tonight? Yeah, it's been, it's been nice getting to see a bunch of new faces. Did they even spawn? I don't really feel like they did. It's ridiculous, Halitosis. Just ridiculous. I just love Llama Bikini Wednesdays. Okay, well that's not. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just happy when people uh, show up and have a good time and if they want to chat, that's great. If they feel like following or subscribing or, you know, becoming a member or anything, that's great. If not, if they just want to show up and watch purely and only when I play D2, that's also great, uh, you know, because people don't have to. They don't have to be here. They can be anywhere doing anything. So, technically not a new face, just a different Twitch name. Gotcha. So the fact that people take their time out of their day to come spend it with me and with us, that's wild. How can you not be, uh, you know, feeling a little choked up about it? Llama fire suit Thursdays, okay. Hot tub stream when? What's YouTube's policy on hot tub streams? Chat 
Chest streams are fun. I like chest streams. Duh, do a lot of people like chest streams? Uh, from, from me? Eh, you know. Not nearly as many. As long as it's not the streamer that is so busy streaming they forget they're playing the game. It's the gameplay and personality that makes me watch. Yeah, I think that's true for many. Sometimes you watch me to go to sleep. Well, that's nice. So I'm that boring, huh? I'm just kidding. That's a huge compliment. I, I, I have many streamers that I just... That was it. I was like, my favorite streamer, because I fall asleep to your streams. <laughs> Um. Oh. Some people count sheep, other people count llamas, precisely. Like, you could sing a lullaby to your kid, or you could just have Llama... ...stream. Put that on instead. Okay, say, so yeah, that is a compliment to me. I find it very sweet. What up, Randalls? Yeah. That'll be the thing for Baby Lilith. What stream do I let Baby Lilith fall asleep to? Exactly. You prefer to be yelled to sleep? Then you're gonna love those Minecraft streams. Four hours of Mr. Llama Sounds of Storm Rain 12 hours. <laughs> Are you transitioning to only YouTube or is dual streaming going to be the norm? Dual streaming is going to be the norm from now on. Aww, that's sweet, Dark Poet. Watch how fast Bale dies. Ready for it? Goodbye. Got it! Chunks him so hard! Oh my goodness, that's wild. You shall no longer taint this mortal realm. Well, we couldn't do it before. So yes, it was bound by contract that we weren't allowed to, and just now. That sounds about right in this, huh? <laughs> So this is, this is also cool because all of uh, the Twitch and YouTube, they get to like know each other, you know? And I get to meet a lot more of uh, YouTube as well, which is awesome. Oh, the cooldown is removed, that's cool. Aura effects are doubled when you max conviction. Okay, that's ridiculous. What? What? Huh. Maybe I'm gonna make you this and you this. Hello. That's good, Nightmare. Uh, is there anything else I need to do here? I need to do... Okay, let's go back here. Dang, Jester. Who's modding YouTube chat? Epi, Hom Watcher, um, Emroy.
Did we decide if this is you itch or twit tube? Hmm. Chat, which would you prefer? Am I streaming on you itch or twit tube right now? Twit tube? Alright. Twit tube it is. Down, 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 down. Hey, <laughs> You do it. <laughs> Alright. Let's 